We're taking a closer look at the future of Lake Hartwell. The Army Corps of Engineers says it's time to reevaluate that master plan. It's actually been in place since the 80s. Yes, serves as a guide for the U.S. Army Corps of the Engineers as what can be and cannot be done on the lake. Right now, the Corps wants to hear the public's thoughts. And here's Grace Runkle uh, with more. It's 5 a.m. and anglers are already gearing up for a day on the water at the Lake Hartwell Outdoor Center. According to the Army Corps of Engineers, last year more than 9 million people visited the lake. But guys like Preston Hardin are out on the water every day. I don't want more people, <laughs> but they're coming and we can't stop it. We read through the draft of the master plan. It says if they don't take action, then facilities will deteriorate. And with more people visiting, they're looking at adding more options like beaches, playgrounds and cabins. Hardin says the Corps knows what they're doing. They started installing more boat ramps a decade ago. I thought it was a waste of money 10 years ago, but I see it's all being utilized. They're probably going to be playing catch up within a few more years. But some worry the Corps won't be able to keep up. Gage Swilling says he sees debris in the water and not enough fish to go around. I'd rather make that drive to be able to get a better experience than be on my own lake just because it's such rough and hard conditions. He worries lackluster fishing trips will keep tourists from coming back. The first kind of southern fishing experience for them and they lose that. But he hopes the new plan changes that because the better the lake, the better the business. Warmer weather's coming, people are more interested in going out, um, so it really does help a lot. Grace Runkle, Fox Carolina News.